Well, I think we found out, which was interesting, there would be a group of people that would get better with just physical therapy, a small group of people. And they would come back and give Dr. Anderson a good report or David. And then sometimes there would be a group of people that would get better. And so that was one, two groups of people. One got better with PT, one got better with relaxation. But I think we discovered in time that there was a, a big category of people that um, got kind of better with each but didn't get completely better or didn't really progress. So that's when we started to, to kind of realize that we needed to do a combination and slowly get them off any pain meds that they may have been on. And so I think that was really the birth of the clinic. Which was, you could see people on Thursday. So, That's true. So we saw, you saw people on Wednesday and Thursday at Stanford. And here we are. And it's 2014. It's, it's something, isn't it? And you always said, Rodney, that yet we have to do studies and we have to... Well, I mean, to be accepted in the, in the medical world, you have to have some evidence-based uh, information. And what we have provided has been clinical experience. But as you know, uh, most treatments now, other than surgical randomization, have to have a control arm. You have to have a placebo type control in order to really show that your therapy is efficacious. It's pretty hard, almost it's impossible to do with the clinics and the kind of people that we're having to deal with. So we did the best that we could in analyzing as much in depth for, for each of the patients and using some numerical grading systems to, uh, to create the, uh, the base for this. Could you talk about the, the stubbornness of the urologists? They're very organ-centered. Uh, we call it prostatocentric. And don't forget, urologists are trained as surgeons. Mm. And if they can't cut on it or cut it out, they're really not interested. <laughs> I mean, they, they sort of put up with treating urinary tract infections and a few things, but they want to cut. And this is not a disease you should cut. That's the worst thing you can do. And, but it, it's, uh, they, they continue to be uh, poorly educated, is the best thing I can say. There is no information about our program in most of the urology training residencies, right. which is a, is a sadness in spite of the word that we've gotten out there. Uh, some, are, some are on board, but not, you know, it'd be, it would be a minuscule 